Selling point for Cloud9, they could come out the gate and they could play pretty disrespectful CS and they could feel like they're in control the entire time, or they could play a more measured game and that's when it will be up to Wildcard to try and overwhelm them with some of their aggressive tendencies. Let's see it then. Boomich, starting in the window. Stanislaw's got a little bit of utility. He's going to set that up towards top connector and then... It looks like Wildcard about to try and burst mid. Just ready for the fight. Nice kill to open things up. Axile from Cat going to at least have a little bit of a look, but he's going to fall back to support B. They suspect the split is in play. Boomage, what a shot, but Stan, the drive-by, just as deadly with it. But now they're stuck. In short, Axile looking for more. And oh, what a shot. One by one, the headshots come through, and it is beautiful from Cloud9. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate for Wildcard because you, you had the right idea of what they wanted to do, right? Smoke top connector, go towards mid and go for a short split. The player in B apartments actually was able to get out just in time. That was Sonic. But the, the issue you've got is for all the utility they bought, Wildcard didn't really expend any of their flashbangs. They didn't really try and make the Execute 2 Telegraph. They wanted to try and catch Cloud9 off guard, and it just didn't happen. Good to see Boomich and Perfecto getting involved in the action early alongside Axile. That CT side against FlyQuest, he was rarely involved. He didn't have any kills on that CT side, but he was so far away from the action whenever it was going down. Could be bump plant here. It's going to get aggressive. Maybe his position's going to make it a little difficult. Ball comes through and the bomb plant goes in. So, yeah, success. The palace waterfall is going to flood the site and Hobbit gets a trio of kills with his MP9, which is obviously a great boon for him. But I'll kind of be happy they at least got the bomb down. You see Hobbit's reaction on the camera. He's just laughing it off. Like, I cannot believe they've been able to plant there. Good priority from Slight, as we said. But this is very simple for Cloud9. But that extra little bit of money will be able to help them get out the AWP, for example, on Slight. Bolster up the tool belts when it comes to the utility for Wildcard. This will be them going up against the bonus. Obviously, a couple of MP9 still in play for Cloud9, but mostly future-proofed. It's electronic this time in the window. Slight boosting, looking for connector, but no one's home. Getting aggressive early on in the apartments. Bottom's going to miss that timing as he goes into the underpass. That's going to allow Perfecto to hold aggressive. Axel can take first contact, and then it's unlikely you're expecting... Okay, never mind. Axel's just going to fall off. Perfecto has a cheeky little off angle. How quick is Stan going to be on the trade? That's the key thing. Oh, actually, the flash forward. Perfecto has to bail. So good protocols to get the control of apartments. I'm going to deter Perfecto's defense, though. He's going to throw that smoke up. Block off the passageway. It's going to keep some bodies rooted for Cloud9 in B. What's good is whilst this is going on, you can see Boomich and Hobbit again a little bit more aggressive towards ramp. They haven't extended into it, but they're playing close to the smoke just in case wildcard. We're starting to reveal themselves and a good molly from Electronic. At the very least, keeps Motum contained. But now playing around this smoke, Electronics also reposition. Three players lean strongly on A and that flashbang, whilst it was good, it actually results in a team kill. Oh, now you're going to force past this smoke. Hobbit is behind, and it's a perfect distraction from Boomage. Hobbit gets two, even picking up that AWP, which was prioritized so early for Wildcard. HE, very good. There's a chance here, but Hobbit, with that collected AWP, too hard to get past, and there's the backstab from Perfecto ready to go as well. Decent attempt from Wildcard. They draw the rotations to B. And they actually find the space through a little unfortunate about the lineup. Yeah, a little bit, but they are doing things correctly. It was a pretty decent A split, but Cloud9, where they're already ahead and playing quite far advanced into that bomb site, it makes it so difficult for Wildcard to expect that, especially when they've shown presence on the other extremity immediately. Just on with Tech Nines now, a couple of pieces of utility to maybe get Wildcard into the bomb site. They're able to do it with a waterfall through Palace, so maybe add a couple of smokes into the mix and it could go a little bit better. Boom's orbs here. And it's loud. Opening kill. And it's just these pistols, so the M4 of Hobbit in a powerful position, but dunked by the decal of Sonic. Effect they're going to step in from the stairway. He's able to alleviate the pressure. Just stand at Tetris. It's looking like it's all falling into place for Cloud9 as they just lose Hobbit. 
Yeah, uh, and this is the the dangers again of MR12 and the CT economy. Uh, just sorry, just the economy in general. Like you lose you lose the pistol, you use the first gun round. Immediately you find yourself so many rounds down, and it can take you a while to try and get back into the swing of things. Fortunately enough, a wild card they will have another investment. I want to see them fight a, a little bit more proactively towards mid because it, it looks like initially Cloud9 aren't going for the initial fights or at least leading with utility. Electronic will drop his incendiary jiggle. Now a slight variation, a blow open of the smoke, just trying to make Wildcard doubt and think that Cloud9 are fighting, and this time they are. Three T smokes in towards middle early on, like the first, what, 25 seconds? Yeah. Slides not even in a position to use his, so it's going to make an execute later on a little trickier. Slide has a nice angle if anyone does come back through jungle. As you say, the attention for Cloud9 is currently towards middle. See, while Carter are waiting for the right moment to strike, see if there's any aggressive plays. They might reset to retake space now. Double up in ladder. That's not the most common setup. It's only one that will catch Wildcard for surprise if they decide to go along Catwalk. The issue is now that's another smoke that's just been used towards window. There's one smoke left for this T side when it comes to the execute. A flash out middle as Wildcard looks to scale. And this is where the double ladder will really come into effect unless Wildcard completely avoid it and go into con, but then going right into the waiting arms of Boomich. He'll find the first of it yet again. Advanced position on ramp. It's a complete cleanup for Cloud9. Sonic left completely to his own devices. Has to walk through the murder hole. And between Electronic and Perfecto, they've shown why it's called exactly that. Nice shot, at least. Yeah, that was a, a bit unfortunate in terms of just the, the timing of it and the positioning. They didn't really have any information on where Cloud9 was set up. Boomage has no pressure, so you can just sit on top of Ticket. Uh, because of this late smoke that came in towards the, the ramp. So there's nothing to kind of draw him away from it. Hobbit knows that if he covers off this position, then Boomish can just rain down through the connector. The only smoke was on Slight, who was in towards the palace, so it just couldn't be used. Uh, so there's no way to kind of like throw a smoke towards CT or even towards jungle for space. But, you know, I, I like the attempt from Wildcard. I like that they are bringing uh, a bit more of the kind of, I guess, de delayed hits with some synergist utility, because that can be a little tricky to just bring out at the table, you know, when you've got two players that aren't normally part of the squad. Yeah, obviously, Horvay is going to, to know all the set plays that they do uh, as, as coach, but... It's still hard to implement that with two extra pieces. It's difficult for them to go for something a little bit early out the gate as well, because in five rounds of play, Cloud9 has shown a lot of variation. Whilst there has been Boomich mainly occupying Ticket Booth with the Orb, something we see South American teams do quite a lot. Cloud9 has shown aggression into the apartments. Hobbits got close to the ramp smoke. That round they fought middle. Cloud9 are keeping it varied, and therefore it's hard to really get a, a hard grasp of what's going on. Back to the pistols yet again, back to another A execute Hobbit. This time, once more playing forward, but tucked in towards Sandwich. This time, not ready whatsoever yet again. Hobbit finding even more multi kills. Something that Cloud9 can be quite dependent on the utility. Electronic for success. It just feels like a complete shutdown right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they did that same round with rifles uh, and maybe a bit more util because it feels like if you just execute, maybe there is a chance that you can break through this. Um, you can see Hobbit had no issues. There's no sort of Molotov until it's sandwiched or anyone kind of hard clearing it. Uh, I wonder if that's just because there's no palace presence because they, they mollied under dark. So you feel like the logical pathing is to take a look in towards sandwich yeah. when you scale in. But I think with the lack of palace presence, they needed to check the, the top of... Uh, shadow. This one's got a bit Light. of a punch to it. Yeah, they've got double up and towards underpass. Slight's all being prioritized again. Although we're, we're not seeing him take particularly active lines. He took a peek into uh, apartments that round. We saw him sit in palace when he had it previously. So I've been to see him take it towards mid, where he can maybe find one of these opening picks that they've been looking for. Yeah, again, Exile and Window. Hearing in it from Ladder. 
will get smoked off. But again, another bait and switch being employed by Cloud9. Perfecto could take the contact and Boomich wanted to get a blow on that smoke, but not finding anything. Here is that Perfecto contact. He can now slide back in towards short and that baits in Axel perfectly. Just kidding. Doesn't even need him right now. Still an unknown element in the ladder room. Perfecto finds another. And now Wildcard are contained to middle. Sonic's got the bomb. He's going to move towards this B bomb site, but with Horvey giving away audio that he's just stepped in connector, this one feels a little bit tough again. Yeah, he's the one that needs to make the play with his position. Not allowed to. Modem's going to be spotted by Axile. He's been jiggling that angle all throughout. And Sonic with 15 seconds left. Not too much he can do. Going to save the AK. Or oh, if he's allowed to. Makes the sound cue. So they know exactly where he is if they wish the hunt. But there's no impetus to do so. They do have the money. I think with the time, he should be okay. Cloud9, very happy with the 7-0 start. Not really having to, to flex too much of their muscles. Smiles on the dials. Vector, getting that double kill. The whole bait and switch. Never needed the switch. No, that, that's true. Axel will, will get his kill eventually, but... Perfecto, just feeling confident, more than happy to try and take these fights. You can see that Cloud9 are welcoming the engagements. Wildcard taking another timeout. To be fair to them, they've been getting a lot of good space in towards mid, and that's something that they should be considering for the rest of the half. But uh, at the same time, to reflect on the point that you said, uh, I agree with it. I feel like maybe they should go for some executes, just try and test the limits, because you, you kind of know what you're getting when you go into an execute play. You drop your smokes onto stairs, onto jungle, the flashes go high. As long as your entry path in is good, then there's an argument where Wildcard can get the bomb down and can formulate around through this. I'm surprised we haven't seen more execute style plays. Yeah, I think especially with the prioritization of Slight or the AWP, if you can get that bomb down, he becomes so potent in the post plant as well. Speaking of AWPs, it's the big boom. Thought he might get aggressive towards top middle and said he's gonna play around this smoke. Has plenty of support with him. Electronic tapping to get the information, allowing Axel to swing, spray onto two. Sonic does get that trade, but he cops a HE for his troubles, and that's the AK on him. There are just bodies from Cloud9 everywhere. Electronic repositions. And again, it's a, a similar bait and switch setup where if they want to push off Boomage's AWP shot, Electronic's there. Boomage has been given so much freedom to move about. Although, might be under threat. Stan is going to remove him with the Tech 9, picks up the AWP, and escapes. They should probably reset into B. They've got good positioning in the apartments with that Tech 9 of Motum. Stan is now worried about Cod and a missed shot. Now actually end the round for him. And now Sonic with the only space they've got in towards B. Wildcard have to commit onto this. Currently, there's only one player here, but it's Perfecto, Immortal, yet to die on the server. And Hobbit was already pushing from the flank. Wildcard need to move now. Yeah, they're respecting this smoke. And I think that's going to be to their demise. Hobbit's going to be in the back lines before they even break out. Needs to be a bit more decisive. Now in the back lines comes Hobbit Perfecto, also getting involved. That's the, the closest it's, it's looked in terms of the early engagements, almost favoring them, right? Roomage falls, you, you pick up the AWP, you've got really good space in towards short. Stan's not an author, but if you'd been able to hit that shot, I mean, that's essentially a pathway into whichever bomb site they wish to go, just group as a unit. Yeah, if he's able to find the connector kill, then suddenly Perfecto's under threat uh, at being sort of pincered from the apartments. And then the Tech 9 can be a little bit more mobile. Is that round, though? We've got uh, the group of four players towards A. Slides all up as well. Stan's going to be the late element, although <laughs> Electronic might not allow that. I think now I'm just going to execute onto the site. Stan falls, and that's going to allow Cloud9 to focus their attention on this A hit. Flashbang forward is perfect. Fully blinded Hobbit gets all the time in the world to find that kill. Flames forward, splitting the defense, and Boomage, oh. oh, it doesn't even matter that his AWP isn't in his hands. His utility does the job for him. Oh, that, that smoke's not, not quite ideal for Hobbit, but he will get out of there just in time. So I can slight trying to pick up the pieces yet again. It feels like these two uh, 
left alone trying to recover first stage is potentially finding a kill towards boomage over at ticket electronic not peeking axile makes moves in mid just to make sure the wild card haven't reset and this entire time hobbit who has been a persistent nuisance in top palace has just reset down to the bottom half of it and now wildcard is so worried paranoid the cloud nine have pushed middle they got to make up their mind. 30 seconds. Do you go for this? No. Or do you hold on to the AWP and the AK and bring it into the next? Because currently they're, they're just in limbo. With a lack of bomb plants, it's always been tech nines followed by a full bite. Makes the logical sense just to save. And this is exactly what you want out of Cloud9. Just especially in a, in a game like this, it is obviously being assertive on the server, but doing it with a, a, the most sort of calculated methods and uh, what i mean by that is just making sure you've always got to double up that's why the wild card round previously got a little bit scary because cloud nine were fighting individually there was that isolation on boobish on the orb you had the swing from axile as well that came out short uh, there was a, a number of moving pieces from cloud nine that were just fighting solo but that's the only criticism you could really give in one round out of nine i feel like cloud nine would be more than happy with how it's going at least with full stage loss bonus, you know, saving over the orphan and AK, you still got Galils around them, so it still feels like a reasonable buy. The buys aren't the problems, it's rounds. That's what Wildcard are looking for. Boomage brings the AWP into apartments. Stan's been solo a few times in these early rounds. He's going to grab some support and slight on the other side. Stand to bait out the shot, slight to slip in, and it almost works. Both Orpers missing their mark. Yeah, again, the, the difficulty of this for Wildcard is not only not finding that opening kill, but another smoke's just been used. They've only got two for the execute, one flashbang to get them into a site. They're reconvening towards A. Electronic this time is over here with Hobbit. I wonder if he's going to go punish. The amount of times Cloud9 have played someone close to the ramp, finally. Wildcard get rewarded. Hobbit drops a smoke in the site to make it a little bit more disruptive. Rotation's on the way. Boomich is here as well. Oh, not for long. Sonic spams him out. This is looking good for Wildcard. Bombs be planted. No reason for Cloud9 not to give this a look in. They've won every round, so plenty of cash. Hobbit's not given any fight. That's good discipline from Wildcard. You've got the two-player advantage. Grouping up three in jungle. It's a whole gaggle of Wildcard players. With nothing presented. Cloud9 now just going to slip away. The AKs, they figure, worth holding on to. Keep this CT side as strong as it has been. Well, there's one out of there. Or maybe, maybe they'll lose another. Oh, slight gets away. <laughs> they might get stuck and Hobbit would strike. Still can. Ah, uh, never mind. Stan's holding. Yeah, really good round out of wildcard. Learning from the tendencies of Cloud9 in the last previous rounds, Hobbit has been, always been playing close ramp or up towards the, the top of Shadow. So this time around when Electronic steps in, he gets punished immediately. Good space being taken as well on the road in towards this A-bomb site. Kill from Sonic, but he, he baits out the shot and then just flees to breeze through the edge of the box. That's one. And that's a huge sigh of relief off the shoulders as well for Wildcard. Sometimes it's just the first one that can always be the most tricky and then rounds can be soon to follow. Max, they can grab in this half is free. But if they're able to... Get a few more to the tally. That'll bode well for the future. Trade of utility in towards mid. Pushes Stan off the line, but they've still got this extra element in towards underpass. Boomage remaining proactive. The ult and rifle of Hobbit are going to move forward and take that control and wrap. They haven't got space elsewhere. So being proactive on A feels the play. That does leave space. Wildcard have slipped into it. Slight. Piers, two ticket. Doesn't see anybody. 
Worried about that smoke fading, and for good reason, Axile still floating around ladder, a position he's found himself in quite frequently on this map. Slight gonna try clearing this again, yeah, just to his detriment. But the hit comes through to B at the same time. Perfecto finally gets a chance to be tested as they execute onto his bomb site and he falls after one. The support is here. Axile. Orb that he's recovered from slight finds his shot. Not normally the player that picks up the sniper, but he still gets it done. And they only lose the one. Yeah, good round again at a wild card though when it comes to the design of it. Get in a space into mid frequently. The fact that Slight's alone is the uh, the only blemish there because he can't be traded out immediately by a rifle who can swing onto Axile's position. I feel like as well, what was good to see, we're talking about the proactiveness of Cloud9. It's a, a perfect time just sort of in a game like this for Boomich to really just get a handle on his timings where it comes to Mirage. And he's been very proactive, there, as you mentioned, going into towards B. The last round he was on ramp. I haven't seen him take the mid fight all that often. But the mid fight is where, well, yet again, most of the action is going to come forward. Stan stepping very close to connector. Another flashbang blinds three of these players on mid, and they are really wary about the possibility of Renault being on the other side. Stan legged immediately. Axtar waits impatiently. To be forced back by the utility, but Electronic can still step in. He's not afraid, and there's Electronic doing exactly as you say. Beamridge back up onto the ticket. I'm going to finish the job he started on the stand. He got slipped into ladder. Taking on Axile's role. Electronic looking for the swing, suspecting someone's in towards the window, and he finds that out for sure. So I'll kind of a bit of interesting space. Oh, okay, Jorve. Deletes Axile. The image gets the trade back immediately. A long range duel, one out by Hobbit. All these individual gunfights, not favoring wildcard, save the one. Stan gives Electronic a chance, but can't quite get it done. 11-1, absolute dominance from Cloud9. Future pros, let's look at a helpful connector smoke you can throw on Mirage. To throw the smoke, get on top of the bin where you belong. Aim just to the right along this line of the rug. Then W jump throw the smoke. Pretty simple and easy. And because it lands on the steps, it will completely cover off the connector vision to mid, making it great for a short rush.
Well, a dominant display in that first half from Cloud9. Wildcard showed good spacing in towards the middle of those rounds, but found it a little bit difficult to get the bomb down. They leave themselves with one round. That's all they collected in that first half, which means it's going to be a difficult road to recovery, especially when all the stars of Cloud9 are popping off. Yeah, it felt like everyone was kind of having their, their moments, which is great to see if you're a Cloud9 fan. We definitely saw some elements of what we uh, hope to see from Wildcard in terms of some of the, the spacings they were taking, executes, but really it's the firepower that's a little bit lacking against this cohesive Cloud9. And it looks like we're going to get a Biff in towards B. Modem getting aggressive. Boomer just holding for this play. Flashbang goes forward, but he was ahead of it. And Hobbit not slowing down. Axar with the follow up, the Glocks looking to overwhelm B. Defensive smoke deployed. The entire CT squad has arrived, and there's two kills to come through. A chance, but Horve gush low. Means that Slide has to do a lot of the work, and he also cops a Glock bullet. A single shot onto any of these bodies will drop them. And they're being swarmed left, right, and center. Horve. Oh, he's behind the smoke. Can't go anywhere. That's going to be the pistol for Cloud9. Yeah, that's a, that's a really difficult one. Three players start B. Motum gets boosted up as well. And uh, the flash play seems really decent, but you're just not ready for the sheer volume of players that Cloud9 are throwing at you there. Uh, complete all in towards that B bomb site. Horvian and Slide do really well to make this one look competitive. But, and using, the use of the defensive smoke is good because it funnels Cloud9 away towards the edges of the bomb site so they can be picked apart by the USPs. It's a little bit unfortunate. They'd already lost players in the process. Yeah, you know what? A lot of chances to close. I respect the uh, <laughs> the Nova in the full Nova, play. yeah. Sonic jumps out of window and goes straight into underpass with it, where actually it's quite a strong angle. The, the unfortunate thing is, they're going to A. And Axel, well, wow. capital A in his name. As he opens up the bomb site, you've got a retake. And one of the weapons you've got a retake with is that Nova. Slide's just looking for something, and he finds Hobbit's bullet. Hobbit continues his reign of terror, and we get to see Sonic's POV. As he sets up for the 1v5, Nova in hand, no kit, but just maybe, just maybe has a little bit of magic. The shotgun strikes the one and upgrades to the AK for time. Maybe just got his knife out. Yeah, not in his hands. They know they've won this. Sonic looking for anything he can find, but Perfecto ends it early for him. Cloud9 having no issues on Mirage. Yeah, that was a, a very quick dismissal, wasn't it? What a map from Cloud9.